I am Anil Kumar sharing with you another excellent question from my subscriber on coplanar vectors. The question here is Are the four points A, 3, 4, minus 2, B, 8, 5, 0, C, 1, 10, minus 6, and D, 9, 2, 2, coplanar? Explain. So what we can do here is that with these points we can form the vectors. So, so we'll make the vectors A B uh, B C C D. So we'll have these three vectors by joining these points. And then we'll prove that these three vectors are coplanar, and that will mean that four points are also coplanar. Does make sense, right? So, so let's find out what is vector A B. So vector A B is going to be 8 minus 3, which is 5, um, 5 minus 4 is 1, 0 minus 2 is 2, right? So that is AB. What is BC? B to C is 1 minus 8 is minus 7, 10 minus 5 is 5, and minus 6 minus 0 is minus 6. C to D, 9 minus 1 is 8, 2 minus 8. 10 is minus 8 and 2 minus 6 is plus 8. So we get these three vectors. Now to show that they are coplanar, what we could do is that we could find scalar triple product or we could write one vector as a linear combination of other two. Right. So at this stage, we have two strategies. One is to do uh, we could do scalar triple product, right? So we could do AB cross BC dot CD, right? And if that is equal to zero, they are coplanar. The second strategy could be that we could write one as a combination of other two. Or we say, let's say CD is equals to P times AB plus Q times BC, right? So, so these are the two strategies. Uh, if we could do them, that means that they are coplanar. Does it make sense to you, right? So, so these are the two strategies for coplanar. Okay, so uh, we can do uh, either one of them or both of them. So, uh, let's begin with the uh, the let's say scalar multiple okay so let's do that uh, so let's do the first one so what i will do here is that write them in the form of a matrix find the value so i'll prefer to write this as as uh, we have five one two minus seven five minus six eight minus eight eight you would actually take 8 common and simplify. However, some of my students may get confused, so I'll just do straight. So we have 5 times, 5 times 8 is 40. Take away this, which is 48, minus 1 time, 7 times 8 is 56. This time it is minus, and that gives me minus and minus makes it plus 48, correct? And plus 2 times, 7 times 8 is 56 minus 40. Okay, so that gives you 5 times 8 minus 8, right? And this is minus of, so 56 minus 48 is 8, uh, minus makes it positive 8, correct? And this is 2 times 56 minus 40 is 16, right? Okay. So that gives you minus 40 plus 8, and this is plus 32, and minus 40 plus 40 is 0. Perfect. So since scalar triple product, equal to 0, that means they are coplanar, right? So, so that is one way of doing it, right? 
Now, uh, sometimes you may be asked to write one vector in terms of the other to show that it could be written as a linear combination. Is that okay? So let me do that also. So what I will do now here is I'll write vector CD as a combination of the other two. So we'll now try to prove if we could write the vector CD as combination of AB and BC. Is that okay? So, so we could do that vector CD is 8 minus 8, 8 equals to P times AB is 5, 1, 2 plus Q times BC is minus 7, 5, minus 6, correct? So if you compare, we get 8 should be equal to 5P minus 7Q, correct? Minus 8 should be equal to P and this you get 5Q. The last one, 8 should be equal to 2P and here you get minus 6Q. Okay, so we have uh, two variables, so we could use two equations. Uh, so from here, let me rewrite this equation as times 2. So if I do times 2, this equation, I get minus 16 equals to 2p plus 10q. And this equation I'm copying as such, which is 8 equals to, this is p, 2p minus 6q. Is it okay? Now from these equations, I could eliminate p by taking away one from the other. Is it, is it okay? So we do difference of these two. So I hope the explanation is okay. So when I do this minus this, I get minus 24 here. That becomes 0. And this becomes, uh, this minus this may, will make it positive 16q. Correct? So q is equals to negative 24 over 16. You can divide both by 8. So you get minus 3 over 2. So you get the value of q. So now I could write q here and get what p is okay so that's what we'll do so we'll substitute uh, this value of q which is which is minus 3 over 2 in this equation okay so we'll substitute that so we have this equation as minus 8 equals to equals to p plus 5q where q is equal to minus 3 over 2, right? So let's substitute here. So we have minus 8 equals to p minus, I'm writing minus 3 over 2 first and then by 5. Does it make sense to you? Now we'll bring it to the left side. So we have minus 8 plus 15 over 2 is equal to p. So p will be equal to minus 16 plus 15 over 2 which is minus half. So we get the value of P as minus half, correct? Okay. Now, if that is correct, then it should satisfy the equation which we didn't touch. Correct, right? So let's see. So what we will do here, just to check, so we'll, we're writing a check here, right? Check if P equals to minus half and Q equals to minus 3 by 2 works in the third equation, right? Let's this be the equation. 1, let me call this. Okay. So on the right side, I have 5P. So I'll do, I'll do 5 times. Uh, so I'm doing this. We do 5 times P value of minus half minus 7 times q value of minus 3 by 2 okay so that gives you what so 2 is common denominator okay and here we get minus 5 and here we get plus 21 and uh, plus 21 that is okay let me change to a different ink so it becomes 21 minus 5 is 16 over 2, which indeed is equal to 8, right? So it works. Is it okay? And therefore, we could write that CD is equal to 
the value of p is minus half okay let me push this speed a bit okay that's fine so cd is minus half if that's the p value times a b and uh, minus 3 by 2 times b c so i have written uh, one vector as a linear combination of the other two that means they are coplanar perfect so that is how you would actually show that four points are coplanar so i hope that helps feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best